Either I have gone off the deep end or I'm making this all up. Last night, um, I awoke from a dream. And in the dream, one of my telescope customers when I was in the retail sales business for astronomical telescopes was a very well-known character actor. I would say that there wasn't a single solitary show, television show, in the 1960s, 70s, 80s, and even up to the 90s that he didn't guest star on. I'm not going to tell you his name, uh, you know, for internet privacy. Uh, but um, we were very good friends, and he was an amateur tele- amateur astronomer with a six-inch Newtonian telescope, and he enjoyed my uh, L.A. County Supervisor Kenneth Hahn imitations pre-stroke and post-stroke. He gave that the guy supervisor. Z Los Angeles. Well, anyway, both my mother and father are deceased, and so is this dear friend of mine also. Um, the dream that I had last night is that I was with my parents, and this individual showed up. And uh, I was real excited. I introduced my father to him. And we went out onto a plateau. And he showed us where there was a whole community that had been wiped out by the recent brush fires. And he referred to it as Goshen. Goshen, California. At least that's what I remember the 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 name that came very strongly after I woke up was Goshen. And I don't know what it means, but there is a California community called Goshen. It's uh, outside of Tulare. I looked it up. And the spelling that I saw in my dream was a lot different. But I did hear the term Goshen, and um, I don't know, that's all I can say is I looked it up, Um, I guess some people would say it's a desert rock community, but it seems to be getting more uh, modernistic, I talked to my wife about it. She thinks I'm nuts anyway. She thinks, why do you have all these telescopes? You're already out on Mars looking at ruins. Uh, but anyway, um, the the house that we had sold to the park, the previous home that was on that property, a lady had passed away in. And there were certain places in the house, especially in the kitchen, where Happy wouldn't go. And we all know how animals are very, you know, susceptible to some other experience or dimension or whatever. But anyway, um, that's my uh, Goshen story. Uh, He was a very well-beloved actor. He did a lot of voiceovers. He did a lot of commercials, I think, for even Thrifty Mart uh, and their ice cream. I'm not going to say his name for internet privacy, but, um, I, you know, when I heard about him, he was one of our telescope customers at the store. I didn't know the name, but when you saw him or you see a picture of him, oh, yeah, it's that guy. I mean, uh, it was just really an interesting experience. So I thought I would um, share that with you, and um, we'll see you in the next clip.